All right, why we discharge through um, transportation, Secretary of Transportation, 46 USC. I'm going to read the law here because I didn't get a chance to read it in the last video. I ran out of time. 46 USC 31321, filing, recording, and discharge. Number one, a bill of sale, conveyance, mortgage, assignment, or related instrument, whenever made, that includes any part of any document, of a document, of a documented vessel, or a vessel for which an application for documentation is filed, must be filed with the Secretary of Transportation to be valid, must be filed with the Secretary of Transportation to be valid, must be filed with the Secretary of Transportation to be valid. I just read that three times for a reason. To the extent the vessel is involved in involved against any person except A, the grantor, mortgager, or signer, B, the heir, B, the heir or device C of the grantor, mortgager, or signee, and C, a person having actual notice of sale, conveyance, mortgage assignment, or related instrument. Number two, each bill of sale, conveyance, mortgage assignment, or related instrument that is filed in substantial compliance with the section is valid against any person from the time it is filed with the secretary. Number three, the parties of an instrument or an application um, for documentation shall use diligence to ensure that the parts of the instrument or application for which they are responsible are in substantial compliance with the filing and documentation requirements. Number four, a bill of sale, conveyance, mortgage assignment, or related instrument may be filed electronically under regulations prescribed by the secretary. B, to be filed, a bill of sale, conveyance, mortgage assignment, or related instrument must, number one, identify the vessel. Number two, state the name and address of each party to, to the instrument. Number three, state if a mortgage, if a mortgage, the amount of the direct or contingent obligations in one or more units of account as agreed to by the parties that is or may become secured by the mortgage, excluding interest expenses and fees. Number four, state the interest of the grantor, mortgager, or assigner in the vessel. Number five, state the interest sold, conveyed, mortgaged, or assigned. And number five, number, wait, number five was state the interest sold, conveyed, mortgaged, or assigned. And um, did I say number four was state the interest of the grantor, mortgage, or assigner in the vessel? Um, number six, um, be signed and acknowledged. C, if a bill of sale, conveyance, mortgage, assignment, or related document is filed that involves a vessel for which an application or for documentation is filed, the secretary and the secretary decides that the vessel cannot be documented by an applicant. Number one, the secretary shall send notice of the secretary decision, secretary's decision, including reasons for the decision to each interested party to the instrument filed for recording. And number two, 90 days after sending the notice as provided under clause um, number one in parentheses. Of this subsection, the secretary A may terminate the filing and B may return the instrument filed with recording if under subsection E in parentheses of this section D, a person may withdraw an application for documentation of a vessel for which a mortgage has been filed under the section only, under the section only if the mortgagee consents E in parentheses the secretary shall, number one, record the bills of sale, conveyance, mortgages, assignments, and related instruments of a documented vessel compiling with subsection B in parentheses of this section in order they, in order they are filed. And number two, in parentheses, maintain appropriate indexes for use 
by the public of instruments filed or recorded or both. F, on full and final discharge of the indebtedness under a mortgage recorded under subsection E, um, in parentheses one, of the section a mortgagee, mortgagee or request on request on the secretary uh, or mortgager shall provide by the secretary um, shall provide the secretary with an acknowledged certificate of discharge of the indebtedness in a form prescribed by the secretary. The secretary shall record the certificate G the mortgagee sorry the mortgage or related instrument of a vessel conferred, covered by a preferred mortgage under section 3122 D in parentheses, 3122 D in parentheses of this title that is filed under this section at the time an application for documentation is filed is valid under the section from the time the mortgage or instrument re representing financing became a preferred mortgage under section 3122D in parentheses H on full and final on full and final discharge of the indebtedness under a mortgage deemed to be a preferred mortgage under section 3122D of this title a mortgagee or on request of the secretary of state or mortgager shall provide the secretary of the state appropriate as appropriate with the, an acknowledged certificate of discharge of the indebtedness in a form prescribed by the secretary of the st or the state as applicable if filed with the secretary the state shall enter the information in the vessel identification state system under chapter 125 of this title title 46 us code subchapter and then it goes on to just um list some information here i just want to add when we first started this, I had known about the transportation and the relevance of it. I just didn't get this law. Um, if I did, I didn't understand it. So what I'm realizing now is um, this came to me right after I um, signed. We signed, three of us um, in our family here, put our wet ink signature in red and our thumbprint in red on the Canadian the Canada Constitution, 1867, and also did an injunction with the Georgia Constitution. I think that one was 1867 as well. Um, don't quote me on that. Just check that. And then there was a Washington Constitution. I forget the date of that one. And then we discovered a Baltimore, um, Maryland um, Constitution. In addition to the fact the original Constitution was finally given to us or shared with us that the Iroquois Confederation um, did the first con constitution that was basically giving the um, Albions and the others permission to do commerce on our lands here in the Americas, Morocco, Maghreb, the North Gate. Um, so, yeah, so basically I said that to say this, that this just came to me after the fact. So I'm not certain if that's a key component, you might want to look into that. Because what Jonah Bay was explaining is that we need to become signers to the said um, constitution in order for it to be valid and for it to stand. Because there's clauses in there that the CEOs, I think it's rule 220, the CEOs must honor the constitution. They must follow the laws in the constitution. Um, and so when we write to them, they must respond back to us, um, which is in the constitution apparently. Um, then you have Rule 144A, which I explained that yesterday about the heirs and the instruments and negotiable instruments and how once we as heirs complete those negotiable instruments, they go to the CAFR account and then um, they access the Strawman account and then the governance um, globally get to utilize those and bonds. So I say that to say this, read this um, law. Um, research your cases because nine times out of ten they're fraud and they're supposed to bring all this and in this information to us initially which they did not hence this stands and now they can be charged for fraud so like share subscribe like share subscribe like share subscribe have a great day